YouTubers and RV fans. So this video is about being in transition from your sticks and bricks house to moving into the RV full time and that transition period just before you're ready to go. So for those people who are watching my channel who are newbies and have been um, following my preparations for my departure, uh, this video is for you. Anyway, here, take a look in my driveway. You will notice that Myrtle is not here. Myrtle is not here because Myrtle is getting breaks. And today is Friday. I took Myrtle in bright and early on Monday morning. And this is how long it has taken for us to get the breaks done. A lot of it's because, um, and I'll take some of the blame, because I was searching for alternative parts um, to the huge cost that um, the parts cost for uh, workhorse from workhorse and so finally I relented and I purchased the parts from workhorse so I guess everything is being installed today anyway I'm going to take you in the house and I'm going to show you what it's like to be in transition so this is my house in transition there's nothing here it's empty I have a cot set up in the bedroom um, that's preventing me from having to sleep on the floor and I was able to take some pillows out of the rig my toothbrush and I had some clothes that I quick threw into a bag and so thank God I still have a washer and dryer here's all my stuff that still has to go in the rig all my medicine and just all that stuff um, have groceries sitting out on the counter here it's unbelievable um, so and water and then um, I have my office stuff still, which I was in the process of downsizing on that to get that into the rig. Thank God I brought my computer with me. So I've got the ability to work because I started my online, online job this week. So that's what it's like to be in transition. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what transition is. First of all, transition can be a very very happy time or it can be a very stressful time or it can be both um, and of course you got to remember this is my perspective um, this is my journey my perspective so uh, and my channel so I get to share with you what my perspective is on this transition for me the transition has been very tough um, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, I did enter all of this as a, as a very new um, RVer um, with no experience, so I purchased my rig with no experience uh, or marginal experience. I mean, I had you know looked at YouTube videos for months before I actually made a decision on a rig. But there's so many complexities to purchasing a rig that I think it's really important that you know you have some help. If at if at the very least you have somebody who can go with you for the PDI and do your inspection, so you know you know what you're getting. Um, I think the disappointing part in the transition period for me was that you know I'm 90% moved into the coach, so I, I'm living in there. I'm living in the in the rig in my driveway, and I took the rig out to enter the tanks and realized that um, my driver's side um, tire was um, was hot, uh, very hot, and you could smell almost like it was going to catch on fire. Uh, it was at that point that Pops and I realized that the caliper had seized and that you know this rig is not drivable you can't drive you know with a caliber season like that because um, it's going to cause a fire and you know with all the different things you've got on board um, you know a class a motorhome the last thing you need to do is have your brakes catch on fire aside from the brake failure um, you know having a, having flame open flames <laughs> so whew. anyway lesson learned on that one so uh, transition for me has been difficult because when I brought the rig in on Monday, I actually sat in the waiting room all day. Um, and when the guy came out, when the tech came out, he said, you know, this is really a worst case scenario. He said, you need brake lines. Now, of course, they had told me that I probably should get brake lines before. So for me, um, I just said, be careful with the brake lines. <laughs> but the brake line was one of the reasons why the caliper was seizing and had been seizing for a while. It probably was seizing well before I ever bought the rig. Um, so clearly the dealership that I bought the rig from should have fixed the brakes, which they were supposed to do. But that's neither here nor there. Hopefully they're gonna be fixed today. 
When I talk about transition, though, I really think it's that process of that period of time between when you leave your sticks and bricks house and you actually move into your RV and then you get on the road. So that, that, that three-phase period um, can cause a great deal of anxiety, can cause a great deal of stress. There's a lot of excitement in that period as well, so you're really mixing all the excitement and the anxiety uh, all together. In my case, um, I've had some moments of panic where I thought to myself, oh my God, is this, is this ever going to happen? Um, are these brakes going to be fixed? Is there going to be other, another catastrophic issue? Uh, it was funny because I was talking to uh, Julie from RV Love uh, recently, and she said, you know, um, Mercury's in retrograde. So she said, you know, you don't want to get anything fixed during that period of time. And, um, you know, I'm beginning to believe that she's probably right. But the one thing that, that's important through this transition is to surround yourself with support systems. Um, I have to tell you that um, my brother has been absolutely amazing, um, you know, giving me a cot, um, offering to have me stay up at his house, which is not too far from here. Um, you know, feeding both my son and I while, you know, we didn't have any food in the house because, you know, I had to take everything out of the rig. Um, you know, just, you know, giving you the support that you need. And so I, I really want to thank Tim for that. He's, he's been great. And then I've got some YouTubers that have just been amazing. Um, you know, Rob and Lisa from Life and Serenity, they've been awesome. And if you haven't had a chance yet, check out their channel because they are just two great people from Canada. Um, of course, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about Chico. Um, you know, even though Chico's been going through his own issues, you know, he actually called me and said, how's everything with the brakes? And so, Chico, thank you. You're amazing. Dude, I, I love you to death. And of course, Shelly with um, Old Part New Start, who has just been a, a tremendous rock. So, you know, there's a lot of incredibly wonderful things that have happened also during this transition. So, I just got a call from the, from the um, repair shop. and. Um, the rig will be ready here in probably about an hour or two. So I'm very excited about that. And, um, you know, so getting through this period of transition as a newbie, um, you have to rely on your resources. You have to think outside of the box. And I think what I've learned over the last eight months um, in, in this whole process is you've got to be flexible. You've got to learn about workarounds. Um, you've got to develop some level of patience, and I can tell you, I always thought I was a patient guy, but boy, I am clearly not patient. Um, you know, so, and I think that that's, that's the part of this that I've learned a great deal of. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on the road, so the next video, hopefully, that you'll see from me will be from being on the road, or at the very least, something that's much more positive than what my uh, videos have been over the last couple days. So, thank you, everyone, for uh, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for all your support, too. Um, my subscribers have really been a rock, and uh, I've appreciated it so much.